pray over everything. Pray, pray, pray. Read your Bible, study it, get an understanding, and pray. Okay? Next, take captive every thought and make it obey Christ. Make your thoughts like Christ. Like when you have a thought and it is petty, when it is, you know, it ain't, it ain't sin well with your spirit. That flesh is rising up. Take that captive, that thought, and make it obey Christ. That's not how God wants you to live. That's not what God wants you to do. That's not how God wants you to react. And if you don't know, ask him. Father, God, help me in this situation. I had dealt with something yesterday. I said, Father, be my mouth. Be my mouthpiece. Give me peace, God. Help me with, with, with talking about this situation. Help me to deal with this, God. I need your help. I need your wisdom. And God was calming me down and giving me downloads on questions to ask and what to say so it wouldn't be chaos i pray before any encounter especially with my kids because i can go off um on them and then i have a 20 year old so sometimes 20 year olds think that they can kind of go back and forth with you so before we get to that point God, come in in this situation, come in in this conversation and take captive my thought. I'm not going to approach this situation like that. Because when I read what I read and I went to approach the person, I wanted to go and say, who the, but then I said, mm -mm, we're not going to do that. Mm -mm. Enemy not going to have my thought. He ain't going to have my mouth. No, nah. um, God, I need your help on this situation because I don't know who they think they're talking to because I'm more like Peter in this season. Like, I need your help, God. Help me. And I, I took captive that thought. I didn't entertain the thought of, okay, go on ahead and snap out because such and such playing with such and such so i need y'all to take captain thoughts number four mind your own business that's first thessalonians that's a scripture in the bible first thessalonians 4 11 make it your make it your um make it your life make it your responsibility in life to work by your with your hands and mind your own business that's a scripture in the bible look it up focus on yourself so many times everybody going through everything oh i got a scripture it say um ephesians 5 12 it is shameful even to talk about the things that the ungodly people do in secret. We're not even supposed to be talking about what sinners do, what um, what ungodly people do. That's Ephesians 5 and 12. Do not focus on what other people are doing. If you focus on yourself and minding your business and working with your hand and doing what God wants you to do, I'm telling you, it will go so much further in life. The reason you keep going, you ain't going this far because you're so busy working on People back there. Why are you looking back trying to go forward? Try to go, try to look back and, and walk forward.